Breaking news from the Idaho State House. Representative Heather Scott has been removed from assigned committees accused of making inappropriate remarks. Scott allegedly told another woman in the legislature that she feels women only move up by trading sexual favors. Scott released a statement this afternoon on her Facebook page saying in part, inaccurate and false accusations by some in the House establishment are being hyped to the members and the media in an attempt to split conservative and liberty-minded legislators. Her full statement is posted on our website, kboi2.com. Now, the action by House Speaker Scott Bedke against Representative Scott was apparently triggered by a letter from a fellow representative. KBOI2's Brian Morin live at the State House to get answers about the sudden action by Republican leaders. Yeah, Brent, I'm holding this year's freshly printed legislative directory. And inside you see uh, Representative Heather Scott listed here. And these are the committees that she was on, Commerce and Human Resources, Environment, Energy and Technology, as well as State Affairs. But as of today, she is no longer serving on those committees. Representative Scott's accused of making controversial statements. Representative Christy Perry submitted a letter to Speaker Bedke complaining about Scott. Perry writes in part, These allegations include accusing the female members of the caucuses of sleeping with members of leadership in order to secure chairman and vice chairmanship positions. Do you know of her comment about women advancing in the House? Other members have had heard her make that comment as well. With regards to sexual favor. Well, I, I, I understand there's numerous witnesses. Speaker Bedke hopes the decision will put the issue to rest. No, I, I think it's over. I mean, this is an internal issue, and I consider the matter closed. Now, it is important to point out that uh, Speaker Bedke says that uh, Christy Perry's letter is not the sole reason why this decision was made. Uh, as you heard, there was uh, quite a bit of uh, corroboration with regards to much of what she had to say in that letter. And in fact, that that process had started some time ago before he received that letter. And the speaker also said his decision is not unprecedented, but it is the first time he's done so since stepping into the top leadership position back in 2013. Reporting live at the State House, Brian Morton, KBOI 2 News. Now, Brian mentioned the House committees that Scott will no longer be served uh, or be serving on, but let's mention them one more time just for clarity. Commerce and Human Resources, Environment, Energy and Technology, and the House State Affairs Committee. Now, with no committee obligations, she'll only be allowed to vote on legislation once it makes it to the floor of the House.